Hey everybody, welcome to In the Red Zone. Michael Johnson here with you, and it is time for week seven NFL picks. I went seven and seven last week. That's not very good. I need to get it together, step it up this week. However, I did accurately predict the Jaguars would get their first win of the season. But hey, 50% is never good enough, so let's pick it up this week. Before we get started, if you're betting on games this week, uh, go to check out busr.com slash redzone. Sign up now. Get 100% match bonus with only five times rollover using promo code SPORTS100FP. Make a $100 deposit. Get $50 for live betting. Minimum deposit is only $45, $25 if you're using crypto. So go place your bets there. Support this channel and our sponsor. I know some of you are making money off our picks, which we offer for free. So this is how you can support us is by using BUSR. Let's get started with uh, week seven NFL picks. Broncos are at the Browns. Browns are a three and a half point favorite. Baker Mayfield aggravated a shoulder injury Sunday. He's questionable. Um, it's questionable if he'll play. Um, but even if he does, it's clear that the injury to the non-throwing shoulder is affecting his game. Um, the Browns are also without Kareem Hunt, who has been put on injured reserve with Nick Chubb already questionable. Browns placed 19 players on the injur injury list over the last two days, including Odell Beckham Jr. And both offensive tackles, Jedrick Willis and Jack Conklin. On defense, J Jadavian Clowney is listed as questionable. The Broncos also hit with the injury bug. Teddy Bridgewater, he's questionable with a foot injury. Melvin Gordon is questionable. And they lose Jerry Judy to injury reserve. So I just think the Browns have more talent left than the Broncos. And even with Case Keenum at quarterback, the Browns likely get the win. But I think it's just a cl it's, it's close. So I'm going to take the Broncos and the points in what could be a field goal game here. Next up, Redskins head to the Packers to Green Bay, who is a nine and a half point favorite. The Packers are facing a big shakeup on the offensive line heading into this game. Um, offensive tackles Dennis Kelly is questionable and David uh, Bakatari is listed as out. Center Josh Myers is doubtful and is expected to miss a couple of weeks. That brings into question how they'll be able to really protect Aaron Rodgers uh, this week, who isn't really known as a mobile quarterback. He can take off and scramble when needed, but it's not something where he's gonna move around a lot to make throws. Uh, Chase Young and the Redskins defense, they're having a really lackluster season so far. Young only 19 tackles and two sacks on the season. I think this week could be a breakout week for Young and the Redskins defense. I like the Redskins and the points here. Um, with Washington possibly getting the win upset if their offense can play a clean game without any turnovers. The Chiefs are five and a half point favorites taken on Tennessee. Kansas City is off to a very disappointing three and three start. They're looking to turn things around. It doesn't get any easier this week though against uh, Derrick Henry coming off that big game against the, the Bills. Henry has run for 783 yards and 10 touchdowns on the season and is now the MVP, uh, in MVP consideration. The Titans gave up 31 points to Buffalo, so I think Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs are definitely capable of putting up at least 30 here. Uh, this just feels like another really close game that could go either way, so I'll take the Titans and the points here. Up next, the Falcons head down to Miami to take on the Dolphins. Falcons are two and a half point favorites. Uh, two teams here really having a lousy season. The Dolphins, they've lost five straight, losing last week to the winless Jaguars, uh, despite two of returning. Uh, the Falcons beat the Jets in London, and now they have to return and readjust to the time zone difference or change. Uh, their only wins this year against the Giants and the Jets. Uh, Miami is only averaging 15 points per game. The Dolphins are, Dolphins are due for a win, and I don't see uh, this team finishing 1-15. Um, so I like the Dolphins to break the winless streak here and get the win. So I'll take the Dolphins here. New York Jets are taking on the Patriots. Patriots are a seven-point favorite. Bottom line, the Jets are just really bad. It's a divisional rivalry. Uh, the pa Patriots have hung very close with very good teams recently, uh, the, uh, such as the Cowboys and the Bucks. Uh, Jets are returning from London. Again, they've got to adjust uh, to the time change, which is kind of hard on the body to do. Uh, Patriots, I, I like the Patriots basically up to 12 in this one, so give me the Patriots. 
Uh, Carolina Panthers take on the New York Giants. Panthers three points favorites. They have lost three straight. Sam Darnold has thrown for six touchdowns and six interceptions after starting pretty solid on the season. Giants have lost two in a row since beating the Saints. Saquon Barkley is listed as questionable in this game. Uh, the Giants are only averaging 19 points per game and now face a pretty decent Carolina defense. Um, I think the points will be hard to come by for the Giants. Um, Panthers cover on the road in this one. Bengals take on the Ravens. Ravens are a six-point favorite. Ravens have been playing pretty much lights out. Um, they steamrolled the Chargers last week. Bengals, they're a surprise team of this season in, uh, with Joe Burrow. It's only a second season. He's thrown for 14 touchdowns and seven interceptions on the year. He's got Joe Mixon and Jamar Chase who've turned into some deadly weapons for the Bengals. Uh, the Bengals really, they're, they're a field goal away from being 5-1, and one, having narrowly missed the field goal in overtime against the Packers. Um, so, you know, it's a pivotal AFC North matchup. Both teams really need to win. The Bengals have the edge on defense. They're only giving up 18 points per game. I think this game really comes down to the last possession. I think it stays very close. So I'm going to roll with the Bengals and the points here because of that. Philadelphia is traveling to Las Vegas to take on the Raiders. Raiders are a three-point favorite. Raiders have come alive since John Gruden resigned. Um, is this the beginning of a playoff run for this 4-2 and two team? Uh, Las Vegas is loaded with weapons, and the defense has only given up 79 yards rushing per game. Uh, while the Eagles' leading rusher is also the quarterback, uh, Jalen Hurts, uh, I think the Raiders load the box. They force Hurts to throw the ball, uh, which he hasn't really been able to do. He hasn't proven he could do it all the way back to playing at Oklahoma. He just hasn't been able to throw a long ball. Um, if he can make the throws, I think the Eagles can catch the Raiders and they can come out with a win. But the percentages don't uh, add up to that. It, the odds are against that ever happening. So I'm going to take the Raiders to cover at home in this one. The Lions take on the Rams. Rams are a 15-point favorite. Oh, those lowly Lions. Uh, the offseason trade is the storyline here that sent Matthew Stafford to L.A. where he's thrown for 16 touchdowns, four interceptions. While Detroit got Jared Goff in return, he's thrown for seven touchdowns and four interceptions, but hasn't thrown a touchdown in the last two games. Uh, right or wrong, quarterbacks and coaches, they get the blame when a team loses, and the Lions are 0-6. Needless to say, Goff is pretty much worn out as welcome in Detroit. Um, now they have to head out to the West Coast, to L.A., where the Rams are absolutely going to hammer the Lions. I mean, the ESPN matchup predictor only gives the Lions a 13% chance of winning. I really think that's generous. Rams are going to cover. They're going to win by at least 20 here. Uh, Texans, they at Houston, they're taking on the Arizona Cardinals, the 6-0 Arizona Cardinals, who are 18.5 point favorites. Uh, Houston, uh, they were manhandled by the Colts, and now they get one of the best teams in the NFL with the undefeated Cardinals. Um, it's nearly impossible to go undefeated in the NFL. I mean, obviously the Cardinals are going to lose a game, but it's not going to be this week. Kyler Murray is playing on another level. The Birds are only giving up 18 points per game, and the Texans are only averaging 15 points per game. Texans giving up an average of 221 yards uh, per game through the air. Should be a big day for the Cardinals. 18 and a half is a big spread, but I'm going to stick with the Red Birds in, in this one. Uh, Chicago Bears head down to Tampa Bay to take on the Bucks. The Bucks are 12 and a half point favorite. Tom Brady is having an MVP season, while the Bears are only averaging 16 points per game. Uh, from their offense. However, the Bucks aren't winning big. They beat the Falcons by 20. They beat the Dolphins by 28. The rest of their games have been decided by 2, 10, 2, and 6 points. The Bucks are fierce against the run, only giving up 85 yards per game, but they're giving up 292 yards through the air per game, and that uh, they got serious problems right now in the secondary uh, down there at Tampa Bay. Bears have been able to hang close in all of their games, so I like the Bears to cover the points here against Tampa Bay. The Colts, they're taking on the 49ers. 49ers are three and a half point favorites. Colts have just absolutely come alive the last two weeks with Carson Wentz since he returned from injury. Can he stay healthy? We don't know, but time will tell. But they're a different team with him on, on the field. 49ers have Jimmy Garoppolo listed as questionable. Um, statistically, the teams are evenly matched, but like I said, Colts just on a different level, so it, it really throws that out the window and it isn't reflected in those season stats. Uh, personally, I like the Colts to be favored in this one, so I'll take them as the underdogs. I think they get the win in San Francisco. Finally, Saints are a five-point favorite taking on the Seahawks. 
Saints are favored here, but they lost to the Giants and then beat the Redskins by 11. Jameis Winston's having a good season statistically, but will that hold? Meanwhile, Geno Smith has played really well filling in for Russell Wilson. Um, they've dropped the last two against the Rams and the Steelers, but both games came down to the end. Saints are overvalued, I, and I, I just like the Seahawks to get the win at home this week, so I'll take Seattle at home on Monday night. Hey, remember, if you're going to be betting on games this week, go check out busr.com slash redzone. Sign up now. Get a 100% match bonus with only five times rollover using promo code SPORTS100FP. Make a $100 deposit. Get, a fi get $50 in life bet live betting. Uh, minimum deposit is only $45, $25 if you use crypto. Go place your bets there and support this channel and our sponsor. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think of these picks, and uh, good luck, and I'll see you next week. Take care.